The plan concludes that the holy anointing oil of Moses uh, included cannabis or cannabosum as one of the active ingredients. Wasn't there something on the BBC recently? Just last week. It's, what, uh, what, did they, what did they say? Uh, that Jesus healed using cannabis in, in his ministry. Um, I've got the story here from The Guardian. It also played on the BBC said Jesus was almost certainly a cannabis user and an early Jesus Jesus was a cannabis user Jesus Christ the Christ was almost certainly a cannabis user and an early proponent of the medicinal properties of that drug according to a study of scriptural text published this month the study suggests that Jesus and his disciples used the drug to carry out miraculous healings it makes perfect sense we all know the benefit that uh, cannabis has on glaucoma and people that are suffering from spasticity and multiple sclerosis and all kinds of ailments. Cannabis is the miracle healing herb. It is the botanical messiah. And it's here to feed all our hungers. Food, clothing, shelter, medicine, fuel, sacrament, and, and so much more. Research, it didn't surprise me at all. It said almost three quarters of Americans support making marijuana legally available for doctors to prescribe. What are we waiting for? Yeah. Yeah. Because others won't use common sense. Come on. And why won't Congress at least allow legislative hearings on a bill that makes perfect sense? The state's right to medical marijuana act. I hope you continue to push forward on this issue. There are a lot of people out there who are counting on you. Thank you very much and enjoy the conference. And a special message for my friend Woody Harrelson. Woody, keep up the great work, keep up the fight, and by the way, I'm all out of that hemp-fed beef. I could use another order. <laughs>